Hey, what's happening? In this video, I wanted to quickly suggest to you and show you what to do when you have forgotten to shoot the thumbnail or even with the lazy way, which I use a lot, that you can't seem to grab even a nice frame out of the timeline that you have. That would also summarize the video that you got. As an example, I used this method in my previous holiday gift ideas video and actually this was my original frame grad from the timeline. So with the help of AI, this will continue to be a lazy way and an easier way. And if you're already familiar how it's done using the Photoshop Badass Generative Fill, then still take it as a nice tip and a suggestion where to very nicely apply this method uh, for thumbnails. <laughs> So I started by exporting this frame from my timeline. For YouTube thumbnails, I usually upload 16 x 9, 19, 20 by 1080 photos. So if you're editing in some other format, which is very likely, just copy the specific clip into a 1080p timeline and grab the frame there. Then in Photoshop beta, I went ahead and selected myself. Then inverted the selection so I could be able to change the background to better fit my video topic. And here you would basically just want to write keywords it's about your video's topic. We are creating a general background so in my case I wanted something Christmassy and holidays alike. And after you're satisfied with the background then you can go ahead and start generating specific items into certain spots of the photo. In my case I ended up with some camera items. I hope you will get something out of this, leave a like if you did, and as always, a subscribe would be awesome, and yeah, I see you soon, peace.